So when people hear the didgeridoo, often they'll go, wow, that's awesome, I've never heard it like that before. Or, yeah, I've heard that. Um, or oh, there's something in that didgeridoo and you just made me feel like such and such. So each individual's experience is very different. Um, but I do play what they call spiritual didgeridoo. So sound is energy and energy emanates out and it affects individuals differently. NAIDOC Week should be important to all Australians. To me the week makes me feel happy because it is acknowledging Indigenous people. Um, also it makes you feel sad as well because it acknowledges what really has happened. And if you look at our history, it's a pretty negative beginning. So there's all that negative side, but equally there's all the positive side. And so I look at both and I try not to get caught up in the, the heavy stuff, but I move forward into the positive because it's about today and what we make today is what makes tomorrow. So hopefully we're gonna make a nice tomorrow. Celebrating NAIDOT Week, formally recognising it in the Department of Immigration and Citizenship is the right thing to do and it's a great thing to do. Look, for me as, a, as, a, as an Australian, it means to me that it is a, it's a way to, to, to celebrate the diversity um, of our great country, um, of the contribution of our first Australians. As the head of the department that has been responsible for bringing seven million migrants to Australia, uh, it's about ensuring that as part of our culturally diverse society, we recognise very much the place, the importance and the future of the first Australians, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australians.